Hi, I'm Val Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day, and thank you for staying with me on the Val Beebe Show. I've had a fascinating lineup of guests, and I'm going to continue with that tradition. I've got Dr. Kurt Garrett. He's with the Society for Cardiovascular and Interventionist Center and Heart Valve Heart Chris, Christina Care Health System. That's quite a title. Welcome, Dr. Garrett. It's good to be with you. All right, let's get into it because COVID-19, you know, it's just trying to take over my show and my life, but I refuse to. But I've got to talk about it. The vaccine is out, but it's going to take months to reach many Americans. Tell me about this new survey that was conducted, and what do you know that we need to know? So the Society for Cardiovascular Angiography and Intervention conducted the survey in December to see how Americans were feeling about the risks of going to see a healthcare provider. You know, we did a survey back in the spring of 2020 and found that many, many Americans said, I'm not going to keep my doctor's appointment. In fact, I'm so nervous about COVID-19, I wouldn't even go to an emergency room if I thought I was having a heart attack or stroke. Well, that's clearly very dangerous. So we repeated the survey in December and found that in fact, we have made improvements. Fewer people are feeling quite that strongly. And yet still, about one in four Americans overall reported that they would not keep a doctor's appointment because they're afraid of getting COVID-19. Even more worrisome, if you look at Black and Latino populations, you find that that number jumps up to about 45%. Those groups, those populations, are at particularly high risk of having high blood pressure, diabetes, the types of problems that lead to heart attacks and lead to strokes. And of course, we know them to be at higher risk of a bad experience if they get COVID-19. So we want very much to reassure Americans, all Americans, that healthcare systems know how to deliver care safely. They can do it in the doctor's office. They can do it in the hospitals. You don't have to worry about catching COVID-19 if you need care, you should stay in care and get the care that you require to stay healthy. Okay, can we talk a little bit more about the African-American and Latino communities? Let me tell you, marketing, when people want to sell those communities uh, social media or clothes or perfume or food, when they find these high-profile celebrities, I'm not going to name any, but that's what they use to market those things, and sales go through the roof. But I haven't seen that with COVID-19. They're showing ordinary doctors getting vaccination. Those, they're going, we don't know those people. We don't believe that. And I, I also acknowledge that some of those groups uh, are more likely to be hesitant to take a vaccine. They're, they're less trusting of the health system in general. And I completely agree with you. We need to have the right spokes, spokespeople out in front to deliver these messages. It's great that I can be with you today and talk about this, but for everybody to be reassured, we need to, to, we need to have um, spokespersons who can connect with the, the audience perfectly. And, and if I'm a black man or a Latino person, I will feel more comfortable hearing that message from someone that looks more like me. I'm just here to do my part as a leader in this space and help everyone know that we're paying as careful attention to this as you can imagine. We're working as hard as we can on this, and we are all committed to delivering healthcare the best possible way to all of our neighbors. I appreciate that, and I think it's a good, it's a good effort. You probably resonate more with my audience who are considered baby boomers because they're a little bit more trusting. And you're right, you know, there is uh, intrepidation about taking the vaccine. But if you take this back to your colleagues, you need to get these high-profile celebrities. I just saw a high-profile celebrity hawking Louis Vuitton. I bet you people <laughs> buy that. And it's the same thing for millennials. They need someone who looks like them. I'm not here to give you a lesson, but I can tell you why the people aren't lining up for those vaccines. They need to see that connection and uh, 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 that they can relate to. So I thank you for even talking about this. You know, uh, I'm so dismayed, though, that people are not keeping their doctor's appointments. And I, you understand that? Because I don't. Well, I understand the fear and anxiety. 
And, and we've seen that across uh, the community, and we certainly have seen it in the healthcare setting. People don't want to be exposed. Now, yes, there are some that are, are not worried about COVID-19. They don't think it's that big of a deal, but many people say, look, it's a dreadful germ. I don't want to catch that. And I'm staying away from any place I think that the, the germ is going to be around. Hospitals, doctor's offices, medical facilities. Yeah, that sounds like a place where you're going to find people with COVID-19. But the important yeah. message here is we've been dealing with germs for a long time in healthcare. We know how to keep people safe. In fact, through 2020, we learned very well how to manage non-COVID related problems, heart attacks, strokes and the like in the hospital, right alongside patients who have COVID-19. We know how to do that and keep everyone safe. That's the key message. That's a great message. I thank you so very much, Dr. Garrett. Is there a place you want to send people online who maybe this message may resonate with them? Is there a place for them to go online? Well, I'd encourage people to go to secondscount.org. It's a website hosted by Sky, and it'll contain the information you're looking for. That's right. And we didn't even mention, we don't have enough time. People can do televisits. They, you know, they, it doesn't have to be in-person visits for every visit. You can arrange that, and even some plans are really covering televisits. So there is no need to, you know, to go untreated during this, this terrible time of COVID-19, Dr. Uh, Garrett. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.